What's up guys, my name is Roman Sanchez, better known as Alibastard from Instagram. Coming at you guys with this new uh, Instagram page called AliBTV. So basically, just in depth, trying to summarize everything, this page is trying to bring up, I would say, the band's publicity in a way. Just trying to put more of them out there, you know. Not only get their music, but their their story behind the music if you get what I'm saying so I don't want to you know talk on and on and on so this is basically uh, a set from three bands from this Saturday that just passed which uh, is starring three bands local retard the divide of the week and short focus and it's just basically a simple interview on uh, some back some of their backstory and here it goes So ready, man. We are we are short focus. We are short focus. Shit focus. From Covina, California. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Diego Melendez. I play the guitar and do lead vocals. Only vocals. <laughs> My name is Joseph Salcino and I play the drums. I'm Austin Spencer. I play half rhythm, half lead with our Jonathan Gutierrez and uh, I play the bass. Right on. Me and Joseph, we had a previous band before this called Rubber Band in eighth grade. Creative. And yeah, it was called the Rubber Band. I came up with that name. And, uh, so we've been playing since seventh grade, and then finally we started changing our music genre to the punk rock that you hear now. And then Don Austin, and then we had Vince from Mortalis for a little bit on bass, and then Vince gave us Johnny. Vince gave, Vince us, gave us Johnny. Johnny. He gave birth to Johnny. Yeah. yeah I was Vince's so I guess they're looking for a new person. So. Yeah, right on. And I, I mean, I came in because I was singing in a choir, and I met people, and that made me meet Joe to do my shit, and then I ended up being in, in short focus. I'm fuck, it's fucking sick. Fuck you guys. No. I mean, uh, we have, we won't say. It. There's a line. There's a border. I feel There's you guys. a line of Coke that we don't pass. No. <laughs> Coca Cola. Coca Cola. That is. Okay, just get it wrong. None of us do Coke. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. I play for Devour. He plays uh, the guitar, and I play the drums. I don't How'd you guys get into that? Oh, that's my dad's band. <laughs> oh, right on. So I was kind of like, my dad saw I was learning how to play the drums because I originally played bass. And he was like, getting pretty good at drums, I guess. Why don't you play some old school death metal? So I learned a bunch of death songs. Like I learned the whole Leprosy album and all that stuff. Yeah. And then my dad knew Diego because he would come to my house every day. I've been going to his house. Really. Every day playing guitar. <laughs> so he just was like, how's Diego play? So I was like, let's do it. Right on, right on. Well, it's mainly because, uh, well, we, we like punk and metal, so we have our metal songs, like, for instance, A New Beginning in Pride, and we have our our punk songs, like, uh, Billy, Billy and got 99, 99 ways to kill me. So, and then yeah. you have some, like, in-betweeners, like Fiend, yeah. and, like, short, uh, short like, metal, but, like, punk simplicity. Yeah. Yeah. We, always, we always have trouble sticking in one genre because yeah. we're just all over the place. Yeah. I don't even want to play metal. I want to be a jazz artist. That's why we're. In, that's why the band's yeah. called Short Focus. We can't focus on one, one thing. thing. Don't assume our genre. Uh, as yeah. you as you could tell from how this interview is going, how trying to get going. Yeah. No one can focus. <laughs> yeah. I got you guys. I feel you guys. Don't assume our genre. You have like a jazz infused with like reggae and yeah. like, kind of sound. Like, exactly. Like, See, like everyone wants to play something different, but we play. But it all works. Yeah, it, it works. just works. That's good. There's a little diversity in yeah, there.
of the week and shit. And uh, yeah, we're death metal from West Covina slash the Wow. My name is Ruben. I play guitar throughout the week. His name is Cisco, by the way. He's vocals because I don't think he's dumb, but oh, yeah. We're kind of, we're basically like the death metal, new metal, stuff like that. So, yeah. uh, my name is Emiliano Medina, but more popularly known as Mono. I play bass for the of the week, and I'm representing Mortalis because they're badass. What's up, guys? My name is Rico. Are you full time stoner, smoke weed? Full time stoner. Play hey, drums for, for Bower of the Week. And ever since we've been playing together, I've been fucking loving it because that's the shit I want to do. He's on new drama. And you know, we're going to be doing some good shit. We're going to be playing around. So let us know if we need a band. Fuck shit up. Starts off with oh, Cisco. Oh shit. Cisco's the godfather of this shit. I was in a band called Dreaming of Nightmares with Joe. And, up, and, up, and, and Casey and and then we ended up getting Ruben and Mono one summer and, but they were very new and they weren't as good as they are now and then we practiced for a while while stuff happened with Joe he bow uh, we, we kicked him out <laughs> and we got Rico here uh, pretty new yeah, uh, look there he is speak of the speak of the devil Oh, oh, oh. Alright. That's the X jump. The battle of the week, by the way. Fuck that guy. Yeah, just... Wait, no, no, no. You have to hold the ball. Oh, yeah. Fuck, like, this ball's broken. Rico's sorry. Sorry. So, getting on the ink, you guys. It's alright, it's alright. It's okay, right. so what's um, basically, we, the band started off with us. Cisco on vocals, Joe, our X drummer on drums, and Casey as guitarist. And then, like, one I remember. Summer, yeah. And one summer they hit us up, me and Mono, and um, <laughs> yeah. Let me get a hit. And we basically <laughs> showed up to practice um, at our friend's house. We were gonna be called um, Six Zero Bomb, but then Joe came one day, and then, yeah, that's how we formed. And then we got a new drummer, Rico, joined recently, like this year. We're still playing shit, you know. It, it's just that we don't have a place to jam, and I don't have my own drum set, so we kind of just get every opportunity we can. Short focus is helps helps us a lot because to use the bassist. We're currently look, looking for a new bassist, but we, we've just been uh, messing around. All over the place. Yeah, so I, Cisco came up to me one day at a gig on my birthday uh, in West Covina. He saw me play some drums and he came up to me and told me, Damn, dude, you're a fucking good drummer. And since this is the only band I've been in, like any band experience, so well, I, know I, that he I decided to take the opportunity to be in to be in a band that I've always wanted to be in. So I'm looking forward yeah, to Yeah, suck at singing, so all I could do is screams and shit. So I was like, well, let's just make a fucking heavy ass band. Because, you know, there's not very many death metal bands out in the scene, so, like, we're that one. Just be that one new band you can listen to and enjoy the gigs, hopefully. And then all of us are really into different kind of genres, in, in a yeah. way. So that's how we kind of like take our like own death core, death metal. Rico's mm. the extreme one. What started it was Metallica, dude. Fucking that inspired me, so... For me... We started off like that. I was yeah. fucking Chelsea Grin mostly, huh? Yeah, dude. For real. I know for me, it started off with punk. Because at first, I want to be a punk guitarist. Because I was spastic. And, stuff. and then they hit me up and tried something new. And I, I've been listening to like a lot of metal like my whole life, basically. And then like, I recently discovered that they're looking for guitar. So I'm just going to try something new. You know? Something fast and brutal. Yeah. For me, I barely started playing bass not too long ago. And I took it to school one day, and Joe, when he was in the band, he saw me, he said I should join his band. And I said, no, I'm still kind of getting used to it. And then Cisco approached me a couple of months later. I was like, you know what, I'll try it out. So I tried it out. I feel like I've gotten a lot better. And yeah, I'm more into like the speedy and thrash and all that. So that's my influence for the band. They're badass. Yeah, they're, oh, pretty, yeah. they're fucking I, badass, dude. I feel like Salcino has, has been a huge part of this whole scene because, you know, he has his local shit page, the like potion studio. Wait, I don't, he I, has bands coming in and recordings, and you know, he, he's 
He's the reason why Senseless was ever able to practice because he can tell us. So you call him the godfather of the local scene? Godfather. Basically, he recorded he everyone. Yeah. He recorded us when 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 uh, when we were broke. <laughs> you would hit yeah. people up like telling them to come in. He would record some sound. Ten bucks. bucks. That's, That's all it takes. Yeah, yeah, ten only. bucks just to be part. Of it. You would put them out. Sounds like great. Yeah. We're just still experimenting, so that's why you would charge like a decent price for us. We still love it because it's a good job in our opinion. The cats that play with us, but they're not here right now at the moment. Rest in peace. Hey, Michael, can I be in the interview? Wait! That's a piece, man. Wait, that was funny um, because everyone used to call us retards in school and like retarded, like all that shit. And it was okay for them to say, so I was like, okay, well, why not kind of give it back to them? So if you're gonna take offense to it, it's like, well, that's what you used to call us, so we're telling ourselves that. And local because we're all over the area, we will be caught in your fucking local Costco or your local alley, you know? There you go. Uh, me and Ralph we want to start a band and um, Eric was in um, the original IOD, Intentional Overdose. And um, some shit went down with that. But me and Ralph wanted to start a band and we didn't play any instruments but he had a background in guitar and bass. And I never touched anything so I was like, oh I'll play the drums. Yeah, I couldn't play it. I should have, yeah. So we, I started on the drums, he started on the bass. And then we told Eric we needed we need, we wanted to start a band, so he became our singer, and Nick became our bassist while he was a guitarist. But then they switched, so that's how it became the bass and the guitar for Nick as a guitarist. And then we added Fernando a couple months after that because we needed something else. Yes. Because they kicked ass for a while, they're not paying for anything. Um, Who was your original guitarist? Well, it's because um, Nick moved to Apple Valley, which is um, an hour and a half drive, so it was just in case he couldn't make it down. We needed not not intense backup, but kind of like in their uh, backup guitars. Just in case he couldn't yeah, come. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. better, right? It's actually worked out like a lot because yeah. the times Nick couldn't make it or Fernando couldn't make it, <laughs> we've always had someone to play for us. Ten years, that's a that's a long shot, but I, I see ourselves on hopefully touring like in, international, like not just domestic wise, the United States. I see us playing Indonesia, Japan, and um, like European counties and we shit like that. Happen. We're all down there. Yeah. But um, um, other than that, we we would always appreciate the backyard ten times more because uh, the youth is what keeps us alive. The fucking crowds with these um, like we're not that old. Obviously, we're 22, 23. But those kids that come to our backyard shows that are 17, 18 with all their full fucking aggro-aggressive like attitudes, they're the ones that keep it alive and keep the spirit up. So no matter what, we'll always we'll, you can always catch it in the backyard. But if we play a venue, then of course it's always fun. And I just gotta remember that's a beast song as well. Can't forget your roots. Yeah, exactly. And also we just want to spread our message um, international. So that's all that matters. Oh, oh, oh. 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 O
Hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, man. Thank you.